You know, no one should be surprised by any of this. Because you know what this really is. This is a revolt against globalism. Globalism. The, the system in which um, too many people have lost out in. I mean, we saw that happen right here in good old USA, right? I mean, wasn't that in part what this election in 2016 was about? And then, lo and behold, you see that taking route in the UK. And you see that taking hold in places like Italy. Italy, which is struggling as a welfare state with all the immigrants that are coming into Italy right now from African nations and they're coming into this country and they're challenged to support themselves and the Italians who are up against it themselves feel as though they're taking on unnecessary burdens. And then you also add on to that the fact that when they switched to the euro, a lot of them had a harder time selling their goods. I'll use Portugal as an example because uh, Portugal and Spain as well were very big in the textile industry and I can remember being there during the height of the European debt crisis and talking to Portuguese manufacturers, textile manufacturers that had owned factories, had had some of these factories in their families for many, many years and they said it's so hard to compete because we used to compete on our currency and we actually had a shot against the likes of China. Well now we don't have that shot anymore. Same thing is going on in Italy. Not as big as a textile area, although they do have silk in Como, right up by Lake Como, where I was married, actually. But, you know, for, for a $2 trillion economy that, that relies on um, the manufacturing of some high-end products, the, the manufacturing of wine and pasta and olive oil, and they want to send all this abroad, well, it's harder when your euro is worth that much more. So maybe they're thinking to themselves, we're better off going back to the lira. I said from the beginning, this was an innovative, exciting experiment, but I didn't think it would work. Because you have too many countries, the euro that is, you have too many countries with too many different kinds of populations, different languages, different histories, different cultures. And you're trying to force them all together a la United States of America. Believe me, it's hard enough for us right now. We're increasingly becoming ungovernable. So Europe wants to go down that path. And they have no Alexander Hamilton.